Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Coraline, the PlayStation 2 game. Let's get straight into it. This is a fire loading screen. Coraline's adventure began when the Jones family moved into the Pink Palace. Which wasn't that much of a palace at all. Oh, so the commentator speaks his mind. What is this? Mr. Babinski lived on the top floor. Hey, yo, cuz there's no shame busting it wide open for a He was the Russian ringmaster of a secret mouse circus everyone knew about. How the heck is it a secret if everybody Miss knew? Miss Pink and Miss Forcible lived in the basement flat. Allegedly, they were famous actresses in the Hey, yo, what kind of actress? Because them photos the was kind of bad. The family were from Pontiac, Michigan. Charlie and Mel wrote gardening catalogs for a living. They didn't have much time for Coraline. Hey, Mom. Coraline, I am really, really busy right now. I need to finish this catalog ASAP. What I'm busy. You want a damn laptop? I should smack the taste out your mouth. Yes, Coraline, I am. And right now, I wish you were busy as well. Have you finished unpacking? You can also help by getting some of these boxes out of the way. I almost tripped over one this morning. Ah, oh, she almost tripped. Okay, what a Coraline, poor creature. When you but yeah, we decided to move the boxes. It's our first little tutorial. The top left corner of the screen. And pressing the triangle button will allow you to grab the box. Good. Now, you can also climb on top of the box by pressing the X button. What so yeah, this now? is more useful than she even was in the movie. Moving boxes is boring. Can I go outside now? No! It's raining outside. Rain creates mud, and mud means cleaning. I don't have time for either. If you're not going to finish unpacking, then why don't you go and explore the house? Or go see your father. But please, stop bothering me right now. We hardly even talk to the lady. She's told me she's busy and go do a tutorial. Hey, Dad. What you doing? Coraline, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, no. Nah. Busy with what? Talk to me, Dad. I'm so bored. <sighs> All right. If you're that bored, Coraline, why don't you go and explore our new home? Here, take this pen and paper and try to find seven blue objects in the house. Hmm. All right. Given that boring ass task to go kill time, we do it anyway. So first we find the umbrella. I already found it before I even went to go talk to him. Useless ass father. We find a dog bowl or some oh, shit in the one. oven. We find some other shit in a cupboard. Oh, there's one. Found the boots just on a shelf. The vase was just chilling also just on some boxes. The ball was just on top of a stack upstairs. Not too hard to get. Lastly, the lamp was just in our room. That's just her lamp. Upon actually successfully completing a task, you get this achievement animation. Hey dad, I found seven blue objects. List is done. Sheesh, you're already done? Coraline, maybe you should finish your unpacking now. But I am tired of unpacking and I'm still bored. If you aren't going to unpack, then why don't you help me out by stacking those two piles of newspapers for me? Pick up the pile of newspapers by pressing the triangle button. Use the left analog stick to move them over to the boxes there. And press the triangle button again to stack the pile on top of the boxes. So being the strong man that we are, we easily move this stupid little newspaper over to the side. Smack that. Well done. Can I go outside now? Did you ask your mother if you could go outside? Mm-hmm. And what did she say? Don't even think about going outside, Coraline Jones. Well, there's your answer, Coraline. Tell you what, I haven't had time to look for the water heater in the house. Why don't you search the house for the hot water tank and see if it's on? Come back here after you've checked the hot water tank. Fine. Yo, our parents suck. Maybe if you went to go check the water tank, you could straighten out your neck. Like, what are you doing telling me to go do things? Get off your computer, bruh. Looking like Mr. Crocker from the Fairly Odd Parents playing with me. We used to do that shit because it's our pops, but damn. My work! My work! I can't believe all my work is gone. Me every time a video crashes, like, I actually felt that one. <laughs> Can I go out now? I'd like to meet our new neighbors. 
Fine, fine, fine. You can go see our blue neighbor in the attic. I heard he's a very interesting man. Uh, but before you go out, water the plants in the hallway. Okay. Coraline, make sure you water the plants first. I will. Was watering the plants something that he was just supposed to do because I'm so inclined us to do it? Screw you and your daddy long neck looking. Hmm. The watering can is empty. I better fill it up. They really made me do that shit step by step just for a cutscene and a little congratulations cutscene. Like, what is wrong with them? Finally, I can get out of PlayStation 2 games was killing too much time. I swear to God. Like, bro, just to load outside, they make an animation for when you're walking out the door, which is actually kind of clean, though, so I ain't even gonna hate on that one. Like, walking out the door and seeing yourself walk back out the crib, like, that's kind of hard. And they kind of doubled up on the idea to actually reach Blue Homeboy upstairs, because once you walk up these stairs, it's just a little cutscene up until you actually get Hello, to where he is. Caroline. I found this slingshot the other day. And since no one is claiming it, I'd like you to have it. Whoa! A slingshot! Give it a try now. Press R1 button to equip and unequip slingshot. Rotate left analog stick to aim. It is easy, see? See doorbell there. Give it a ring. With your slingshot. Simple enough, he gets us equipped and tells us to start blasting, so of course we do. Good shoot, Caroline! If ever you need Mr. B's attention, shoot doorbell with slingshoot. Mr. B will always be around to train Mushkas. Okay, Mr. B, I'm going to go see Miss Pink and Miss Forcible now. Oh? You should collect a basket full of apple from that tree downstairs to take to the ladies in the basement. I'm sure they would like nice red apples. Not as good as beets, but we'll do. Goodbye, Wait, little girl. Wait, screw whatever he's talking about. The actress's Hi. names are Spink Goodbye, and Forcible? No, hold on. Spank and Forcible? Oh, I so know what type of actresses they was. Never mind to my first okay, question. Oh, my lord. According to Mr. Bavinsky, the apples on the tree will change color from green to red to purple. I have to shoot the apples when they're bright red. The ladies wouldn't want a basket full of rotten apples. Of course they wouldn't. Why give a bitch an inch when they rather had none? You know how the game... Anywho, this is the fail animation. So spinning back with a vengeance, of course I hit every damn apple. a nice gift for the ladies in the basement and like that we're free to go see spink and forcible before actually saying hello to ladies we get to vandalize their painting first perfection <gasps> and actually doing it again we get a whole another way to vandalize it noticing <gasps> that there's this chest that i could open up i was real hyped too up until i saw all these damn dogs just crowding around me the Spongebob wig OD. You see, they know that they're playing with the wrong one, because ever since Mortal Kombat, I've loved this game. So I instantly knew it was the far right. Moving on from that, Shorty wants us to play a card game with her. Thank you for the apples, dear. That's so lovely of you. Come sit down and play Go Fish with us, Caroline. Coraline, to speak. Oh, but I don't know how to play Go Fish. Oh, it's easy, dear. First, we'll deal out the cards. Then, you select one of your cards to see if we have the one that matches with yours. If the card you pick does not match with any of our cards, then you would go fish, and your turn is over. The winner will be the one with the most pairs when all the cards are played. Oh, it's as easy as that, sweetie. Sure. I'll give it a try. So I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. At Goldfish, this shorty a demon, and she beat me at least four times, but all that is lost footage now. Like, the cameras weren't rolling. So I ended up beating her. This one. Nice. Hey, yo, do y'all see the mommy milkers on the one to the right? Fun, Caroline. <laughs> well, 
I must be going now. Oh, Caroline, have you heard about the old well close by? A well? I don't know anything about a well. Oh, Miriam, your sense of drama. Sometimes I think that London theatre critic citation has forever bloated your sense of importance. Oh, be very careful, dear. It's a very deep well, and you must stay away. Oh, don't you worry, Miss Spink. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Before leaving, I find one last game where we've got to match the similar things together. This is the cutscene I get before I get to hit the well. First, we got to break into like this like schoolyard, basketball court, whatever. The combination is just bumpers and triggers mixed with a button. Not too hard. Getting into the courtyard, if you run to the far right, it looks to be some type of pink school, which is probably their school in the universe, but you can't actually enter it, so left and all their options, I just had left. Running up to these group of birds, we get these cute photos. In order to find the mysterious well in the orchard, Coraline figured she would need a dousing rod. She was unaware she was being watched. It wasn't long after that she made the acquaintance of Wybie Lovat. Although Coraline found Wybie quite annoying, he did show her the location of the well. The day would have been a complete success had Coraline avoided using a piece of poison oak as her dousing rod. Hey, Mom. Coraline, I am really, really busy right now, and it's time for you to go to bed. Go, go up there now. Being as neglectful as ever, she just instantly sends us to bed. But we get to find these photos before going to bed. Also stomp on some bugs. And score the last goal. Isn't that Mr. Babinski's mouse? Hey, little guy, where are you going? I better get you back to Mr. B. Ugh. So the little smooth Here criminal hits the are. dash on us and we try to catch him, but Pooh's a little more challenging than at first thought as he keeps jumping up onto things Don't and once you, you actually get near him, he just jumps back off and then onto something else, making you either climb up to him or move something to climb up to him. Thinking he all cute. And this, my friends, is how we find the other world. Where does this go to? Coraline walked into the kitchen. She thought she saw her mother cooking in the middle of the night. Coraline soon discovered that this wasn't her mother at all. The woman tapped a button eye with her fingernail and asked Coraline if she'd like them. She introduced herself as Coraline's other mother and opened the oven door. Coraline was overwhelmed with the aroma. The other mother asked her to help prepare the supper. We are trapped. Man, I finished this puzzle with no hate shit. Why this little boy looks so fruity? Finding another game where you just match the some of the things together, I honestly thought that I had it until I realized I completely put them into the wrong row. This game is pretty cool. It's just the basic memory thing so something plays and I just had to hit it in the same order that it played originally. Hmm. I think I can use my slingshot to ring these bells. I took a second to get my memory kick started, but once I remember what it was, I was on it. Oh, 
come this up game is you just had to guess what photo was making which is pretty simple Bingo. Coraline dear come and help me make some yummy pancakes here's a list of six ingredients can you help me get them oh. okay but but well go on the sooner you get the ingredients on the list for me the sooner we'll have some yummy pancakes so we listen to her and start trying to find all the scattered things throughout the house and they're pretty obvious to see because there's indicators right over the object. Oh, there it is. Barely saved by the bell, I end up successfully doing it. Good job, my dearest. Now, help me beat the eggs. Make sure you follow the direction on the screen. Once the icon changes, you'll need to change the direction. You need to get it done quickly before time runs out. Uh -huh. So yeah, being the okay, chef that we are, happened. we beat the eggs till they scrambled. Faster, Coraline, faster! <laughs> You did great, sweetheart. Now, go tell your other father that supper's almost ready. Go on. He's in his study. Uh, sure. Hey there, Coraline. Ready to create beautiful music. But I don't know how to play. Don't you worry. Follow Upon running into other father, we see his neck is actually straight for one, and instead of being stressed out doing work on his PC, the man plays the keys. And he's kind of nice at it too. That was a lot of fun, Coraline. <laughs> hey, did your other mother tell you that your friend is coming over? My friend? Coraline, why don't you play a game of hide and seek with your friend? He is very good at hiding. Here, start counting. Go on. Okay. That sounds fun. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. So ultimately being peer pressured into playing hide and seek with YB, we first find him in the closet. Let's play again. Go hide. That was fun. Let's have a game of treasure hunting. I'm good at this. Here's a list of items. Let's see who can get the most. Ready? Go! And the game is as simple as Coraline said. We just need to find more objects than YB does. Pancakes are ready. Come to the kitchen. Here I am. Mmm. They smell great. I have a fun challenge for you, Coraline. Can you catch the pancakes when I flip them up in the air? Move left and right using the left analog stick to position yourself underneath the pancakes. Catch at least 15 pancakes before time runs out. Oh, be careful, though. Don't catch any of those nasty bugs and worms. <laughs> Ew. So yeah, there's one last mini game in the other world. She starts chucking back the pancakes and we have to catch them on the plate. Wow. Look at all this delicious food. 
I wish I could have food like this back at my real home. My real dad tries to cook, but it always ends up tasting gross. After the pancakes, Coraline realized that she should go to bed. She told the woman with the button eyes that she should go home to her other mother. The button-eyed woman replied that she was Coraline's other mother. Confused, Coraline politely explained that she really should be going to bed. The other mother told Coraline that her bed was waiting for her and herded Coraline upstairs. Whitey, what's wrong? Are you okay? I... Uh, I... Uh... Wybie? Where are you? <laughs> Come here, you little munchkin! Wait, Me hitting the dash wait, from the school thought, ask where my wait. hug is. To keep your firefly jar glowing, you can replenish the jar with fresh fireflies. When you see the spotlight of fireflies, press the square button to equip your firefly jar. When your firefly jar is equipped, press the triangle button to collect the fireflies. The Coraline icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen is your health meter. Be sure to keep an eye on it. So yeah, he broke down the health indicator not because if not. you die, you kind of die because these rats will eat you alive. But yeah, we just need to pick up the light and every time I pick up the light, it's my source to actually keep on moving through because without the light, you don't get to see the things ahead. Are you okay? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Coraline woke up confused in her real bedroom the next morning. Her dreams had seemed so real. She had a feeling that Wybie was in grave danger and was compelled to find her mother and tell her. Mom, I think Wybie is in trouble. He was in my dream and he looked terrible. Coraline, it was just a bad dream. But I have to head over to the well and make sure Wybie's okay. The well. You are definitely not going to the well. Now let me finish my work. And don't let me catch you trying to sneak out of this house. Mom! Her useless ass parenting just kind of makes us be on some rebellious shit and sneak out the crib anyways. Because she tried to tell us that we're grounded and can't leave for a week. But who the hell does she think she is? The only thing you ever say to us is, you're busy. How the hell does she think she got the power to ground us? Kick rocks. Seeing YB run into the barn, we're left with no choice but to chase him. First, we see these photos, though. Actually, getting into the barn is pretty simplistic. We see the layout, and we need to get upstairs. But to actually get upstairs, first we need to start stacking things to actually move through. So a lot of crate movement. Once you get the crates in the right order, though, you're able to just peacefully climb up. If you can actually get up. And boom, all of a sudden we're back on YB's trail. Trying to balance is just you have to have the joystick slightly leaning to the right if you want to go straight and you're leaning left and vice versa for the other side. Not the easiest thing, but you get the hang of it. This time we see him headed kind of like towards the schoolyard, so again we followed him, but not before we run into Mr. Bobinski who's kind of tangled up. Mr. B, what are you doing? That... that... little devil child! It tricked me! Me! The great and amazing Bobinski! He stole my beats! You okay? Do you need my help? Nah. If you could be so kind, Caroline. Please help me untangle and get a sticky vine off. Sure. So to untangle him, we simply just have to hit all the red tops off. Ouch! 
Thank you very much for your help, Caroline. That's very sweet and nice of you. You're welcome, Mr. B. But, by the way, my name is Coraline, not Caroline. That little thief devil! Just wait. The amazing Mr. B will get him. Did you see which way he went? I'm looking for him. He ran towards tennis court. You should not hang out with Devil Kid. I... I can't wait to catch him with hands. Oh, I need to get back to practice. See you soon, Caroline. That's Coraline. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Hmm. How does this thing work again? So yeah, why be setting off this like baseball launching machine ends up making us start a mini game where we have to dodge the apples coming out of it. Out of mind of its own. I have to admit, Jonesy, you should have seen the look on your face. You were so freaked. I was not! You're such an idiot. Why were you born? You know, I was worried about you. But now, ugh, why do I even bother? I am going home and will never speak to you again, ever. Fellas, if she ever say that ish to you, don't believe it. Just text her. Never forgive him. See if I care. That jerk. Huh. Mom left me a sandwich and a note. Gone to the store. Here's your lunch. Be back soon. Ugh. Are they seriously trying to poison me? Coraline kind of been moving hella bougie throughout this, and I'm loving it. I knew it was Yeah, real. having enough of our world for one day, we go to the other world. Welcome back, my dear Coraline. Your timing is perfect. I made such a delicious meal for you. Come and have some. Wow. This looks delicious, yummy. Oh, there's a gravy train. Does it move? <laughs> well, sure. Why don't you give it a try and serve gravy for everyone? You can use the left analog stick to accelerate and decelerate. Oh, pay close attention. You need to watch out for obstacles. Yeah. Let's do it! This is fun! So controlling the train is Coraline, we just need to spam down buttons when the time comes to actually straighten out the track, and other than that, job, we just go along the course, and when time comes, we drop off the gravy on the plate. You are doing great. Oh, thank you, Coraline! Darling, Mr. Bobinski invited you and your friend here to see his circus show. Is it the mice circus? That sounds like a lot of fun. Should we head to Mr. B's now? Hello, Mr. Babinski. Oh, dear Coraline. We have been waiting for you to come and sit and let's have a little game show. Now, behind these doors, there are mice in different costumes. Two of each mice are in the same costume. Once you find and pair the mice wearing the same costume, their door will stay open. You have a limited amount of time to find all matching mice. Okay, I'll try my best. Ready? Go! This first game was actually pretty simple. You just match all the matching blocks together. Not same which kind. Okay. Nope, not same which kind. Good job. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Good job. Okay. Second game might be even easier than the first one because all we need to do is just pick out the ones wearing the costume. You did great. 
take a close look at this cute little mushka named Valdo. Look closely at pattern on his cloth and hat. Did you take a close look? Your next mission is to find Valdo. Valdo, good at hiding. Are you ready to find the little mushka Valdo? Okie dokie. Ready? Get set? Go! Okay. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. Good job. After completing this mini game, he has one more for us. Join us, Caroline. Go ahead and take over the conducting. And it's a little song sang by the mouse choir. They all here looking like when SpongeBob put that band together. Before going to bed in the other room, if you touch this origami thing, it makes the birds fly all over your room. word you can talk I must be in a dream what makes you think I can't talk outside of a dream because in the normal world cats don't talk well I guess you were the expert on cats then wait okay maybe this isn't a dream all I know is that I'm lost can you please please help me well you can find your way out of here by following the path and paying close attention to the magical symbols on the ground. Putting weights on these symbols will allow the gates to open. Good luck. Wait. Wait! Ugh. So yeah, listening to the cat and just lighting these lanterns means that I can beat the snapdragons, aka... Sunflower on steroids. It's like I'm walking with grandpa's food cause I gave them boys the itis, put their ass to sleep now they're calling me NyQuil. Nothing too important happens and we escape the dream, waking up just in our bed like always. Hey mom, hey dad, I had the strangest dream. There were a mouse circus and a talking cat and figures. Once again, nobody listens. I'll go see Mr. Babinski. I bet if I tell him, he'll, he'll listen, she meant that, onwards to find somebody to yap to. Caroline, Mr. B cannot find it. It was here, and now, it is not here. <laughs> it is it was here, now it is what not here. What are you here. looking for, Mr. B? Combination to new door lock. I write numbers down onto a piece of paper and put into pocket before I go do morning exercise. Now I look in pocket and paper, it is gone. Do you have any idea where it might be? I do morning exercises in front of barn. Then I hear some funny noise and go inside to look for noise. I think paper must be in there somewhere. I'll help you find it, Mr. B. 
Thank you, Caroline. As reward, I will treat you to the display of my amazing acrobatics. Yo, where'd he jump to, though? That indicator right there, my friends, is the lock to the keypad. But before getting up there, I have to go through the exact same barn route we already went through. So the code to Bubinski's door is 3173. Cool. Got it. Another one. Here it is. We just straight walk in without dude. <laughs> Very good, Caroline. Come, no amazing mouse circus today, but we'll do amazing Bobinski acrobatics instead. Almost as good. Come, 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 come. Stand over here, on this spot. Now, you will do amazing acrobatics with the amazing Bobinski. Me? I, I don't know. <laughs> Sure you can. Let's hit it. So him actually hitting his moves or not are actually all up to me because it turns into quick time events. Hey, yo. Before getting to tell him how amazing that was, we vandalized his painting. And yeah, before actually leaving, we balanced ourselves on the one wheel tricycle to see if we can do it. Which of course I could, Coraline barely broke a sweat. That's amazing, Mr. B. This I know. Good work, Caroline. We make amazing team. Now, let's do juggling act together. Pay attention. When I throw beats to you, you react quickly. Focus. Okay. Ready? Go. So yeah, this game's pretty simple. We just had to juggle. Thanks. Almost there. job, Caroline. You could be a good performer. Maybe even amazing like me. One day. If you practice more, like my Mishkas, you maybe join me for the almighty circus. That? I could use someone like you, Caroline. <laughs> a good idea, that? Yeah, we'll talk to mice. No, mice would probably... Mice would probably... Mice not so funny. Can be... Moody Mushkas. Oh... <laughs> I should go home now. My mom's gonna kill me if she comes back and not find me home. Bye bye Mr. B! Now we get to head back to our crib, cause yeah, he heard us out and we got a little show. Just playing, he didn't hear us out, we just had to help the man. I don't even know if she got to tell him what she wanted to tell him, but who cares? That's neither here nor there. Moving along, we're back into the other world. Hey there, Coraline. Mother wanted me to wait here for you. Here's a ticket to Miss Spink and Miss Forcible's performance today. She thinks you'll really like it. She really does know you best. Wow, that sounds great. Your little friend is already there waiting for you. You're already late, so go on. So yeah, we go to go slide on our main Swiss cheese YB, who's chilling at Spink and Forcible's little carnival thing. So we go check it out. First things first, obviously had to get the graffiti done. Ah, much better. So getting into the first game is trivia. Where does Mr. Babinski live? The addict. What's our father's name? Charlie. The amazing Bobinski does what? Pole vaulting. Acrobatics, obviously. Spink and Forcible are mm, performers. Sex performers. But I go with theater. What is Miss 
Pink and Miss Forcible's favorite candy. Broccoli, clearly. I think it was probably just taffy, but who cares? Moving along. This time graffitiing up the photo, we get a witch. Oh my goodness, they're back. The theater is filled with the dogs. So yeah, first things first, she drops some opera singing for us. Only work when that big gob of yours is open. Just the sight of a flipper or fork from those top heavy fish women. They'll turn tail and Yo, excuse my friends, what the fuck is she spitting? Captains can't help but to listen and watch as my scales shine and glisten when my song rings out through the air. And Thank God it's over. After their Song of the Seas performance, if that is what you could call it, Spink and Forcible appeared high above the stage, each balancing precariously on a seemingly undersized diving board. In a matter of moments, Spink and Forcible transformed their routine into something that was much easier on the eyes. Coraline discovered that she was actually the star of the show. Luckily, there weren't many moves to learn. Coraline soon found herself receiving a round of applause. This next minigame is to shoot the targets as they pop up in front of us. So now we gotta use the cannon to shoot up to the lady up on the trampeze thingy. The last mini game is just put it in the right spot. If it's not the right spot, we fail. special present. A shiny new pair of black button eyes. Coraline couldn't believe it. She hoped that it was just some cruel joke. Unfortunately for Coraline, what came next was even worse. We don't get to find out what's next though because before we even know it, we're just stuck in a dream again. Coraline? Is that you? Where do you think you're going? Come with me, Wybie. You cannot run away from me! Oh, Wybie. I have to get out of here fast. Almighty. Whoosh! After quite a bit of walking, just an empty hallway with nothing but enemies, we finally reached the end. Uh, you cannot run away from me! Waking up, we go and try to find YB and tell him what just happened to us, but before we know it, the dude hits us with his bike! And here we're introduced to yet another quick time event. You, you idiot! What is your problem? 
Oh, oh, uh, sorry, Jonesy. I didn't mean to run you over like that. <laughs> so, what were you looking for? I'm looking for my mom and dad. I just ran away from my other mother, and I'm worried she might have taken my real mom and dad. Uh, other mother? Okay. <laughs> well, I, I really have to go. You should get some help, Jonesy. If you know what I mean. <laughs> So yeah, homie thinks we skipped out on our meds this morning, but it don't matter, we don't need them. Even with parents made of pillows, Coraline went to bed lonely. The combination of loneliness and the fact that pillows are a poor substitute for parents made Coraline realize how much she missed her mother and father. Then, a friend showed up and led Coraline to the two people she needed most in the world, her parents. Coraline's parents would never be able to return on their own. She decided there was only one thing to do. They went back through the little door for one last stand against the other mother. Coraline proposed a game. If she could find her parents and the ghost children's eyes, then she would win and they would all be set free. If Coraline couldn't find them, then she would be the other mother's daughter forever. The other mother agreed to the game with a malicious smile. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much where the final stand against our other mother begins. First, we need to take care of Pops, though. He's clearly up on that big grasshopper looking thing. Praying Mantis? Yeah, I'm gonna go to whip Mantis, actually. So yeah, using the maneuvers, Coraline just barely slides her way past all the attacks. The other father kept chasing Coraline against his will. Fortunately for Coraline, the tractor smashed a hole in the bridge and fell through it. The other father managed to resist control for one final act. He threw the ghost eye to Coraline as he fell into the water. Coraline caught her breath and decided where to look for the other two ghost eyes. Grabbing the second ghost eye, the only way we can grab it is by going into the theater because we have to get it from Spink and Forcible, but the second we get in there, we see the rats are on guard. So yeah, to get across we have to walk this pipe that's just extremely skinny as bats fly right past it too and can knock us off. Easier than it sounds though at least. Coraline reached deep into the taffy creature that bore little resemblance to young Miss Spink and Miss Forcible that so delighted the canine crowd just a day earlier. She opened the hands and found the second ghost eye. Unfortunately, she was going to have to fight for it. Coraline didn't have a problem with that at all. All she needed was a little help and a bit of timing. The second ghost eye in hand, Coraline had one more move to make. So this is like beginning of final chapter and first off we run into his Mr. Babinski up in his attic. So yeah, we run into Top Op Bobinski, who's kind of shielded by some cannons, which if you run right into, you get this animation. Blown to bits. All that I had to do to actually beat Mr. Bobinski's cannons is just clog them. And every time that one gets clogged, one might come back up. But after you actually get through that hassle, you can just walk right through it and get to him.
because yeah it was actually not even mr bobinski it was just rats dressed up as him for some reason and now the hallway got real narrow and we gotta follow a rat throughout the hallway which yeah we just need to chase him and yeah if you do it correctly you reach the door at the end of the never-ending hallway Coraline was devastated she had let the rat get away with the third ghost eye once again a friend with a very strong distaste for rats came to the rescue. The third ghost eye was soon in hand. With the world unraveling around them, their final destination beckoned, and a final confrontation with the Beldum was at hand. Coraline entered the living room and searched for a sign of her parents. Instead, she found the other mother waiting expectantly. With a sickening grin, the Beldum reminded Coraline there was still one condition of the game to be met. Coraline realized where her parents were, and in a moment of questionable judgment, Coraline made a bold and quite unexpected attack. So to start off the battle with other mother, our feline friend starts attacking her, clawing her straight in the face, but if we fail, we watch him get stomped out. Actually hitting the quick time events leads to other mother and the cat breaking out into some type of tangle battle where the cat looks like it's actually getting the best of other mother. So we need to climb up the spider webs before we can actually finish the battle between us and other mother, which doesn't take too long. On to the last struggle with other mother. If you fail, this is the cutscene you get. And like that, ladies and gentlemen, we get the final cutscene for Coraline PlayStation 2. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Charlie and Mel dusted the snow off themselves, and Coraline ran to them. They soon had a terrific dinner to celebrate their reunion. Later that night, with her world back in order, Coraline's real mother and father tucked her into bed. Coraline apologized to her late-night visitor for her rashness and lack of consideration for others, though it did turn out to be the right thing to do. Then they decided that it was time to release the ghost children. Coraline put the eyes of the ghost children under her pillow, and the two of them fell fast asleep. Kill me then, nigga pop out loud Put my shit to an end, put a ton of my friends